not as miserable outside as they said it would be. So, time to continue my transition from tiny house life to micro van life. Got a good six hours of daylight. But first thing, I have to concentrate on survival. <laughs> Get myself three bags of firewood and refill my water supply. And I've been eating out of cans for the last three weeks. Oh, so, I ought to uh, help out my nutrition with some fresh foods, salads. All right, let's find my water containers. Oh, another one there. Another one there. And this one was filled up in Glastonbury a long time ago, and I've almost emptied it. This is 50 litres here. Soon, my pretty, soon. Every time, without fail. Put your seatbelt on until you reach second gear. Can't see myself carrying all this back in one go. I am concerned that I have become far too stoked about having my van back and I'm putting too much effort into the filming. Don't panic, this is not van city van life. Normal service will resume. What else was there? Firewood? Fresh fruit, salad and vegetables.
Once again, a shout out to the inferior cultures of the world. Look at this. Here's a cabinet full of firewood. Don't need to lock it, of course, because this is the United Kingdom. You just take the bags you want and put the money in the honesty box. Why can't your culture do that, Johnny Foreigner? Obviously, rural communities in the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand are exempt from that microaggression. Oh. Nice big bags of firewood, too. Three for, three for a tenner. All right. I've used them before as well. Those are kind of squashed up sawdust rolls. Pretty good for fire starting, nice and dry. <laughs> before enlightenment, I chopped wood and fetched water. After enlightenment, I chopped wood and fetched water. And speaking of inferior cultures, I have noticed that in other countries, the flashing lights doesn't mean I'm letting you out. It means, oi, this is my road. Get out of my way. Very different culture indeed. And there's no thank you given. Like that, just a simple thank you given to motorists that give way to you out of courtesy. Courtesy, integrity, no. Oh, not even in the vocabulary. Am I going to include that? Is it too controversial? I was looking at those Hyundai i800s when I first started buying a van, but uh, I mean they're nice size, but they don't half drink and start at four grand. Hmm. Alright there. Do you have a mask, mate? I've got a medical exemption. Yeah, no problem. Right. Hmm. Let's continue with the insulation and van build, which you've all been waiting a long time for. Lost 11 subscribers <laughs> in the last two days over my uh, David Attenborough voiceover cabin fever escapade.
Oh, I haven't done an outro in a while, so watch that, that, that. <laughs> subscribe, be wrong. That was really low energy, wasn't it?